155 millimeter howitzer. Towed by a CCKW, two and a half ton, six by six, built by GMC, known as the Jimmy. M931 5 ton US Army truck. The famous Willy Jeep. These were made from 1941 to 1945 for the American uh, Allied forces. They stuck around for World War II all the way up to the Korean War and then continued on a little bit modified through the Vietnam War as well. The most famous vehicle in the United States Army back then and it was made by Willys MB and Ford GPW both contracted by the United States Army and it was commonly known as Jeep it was really the G letter GP how they get to J E E P I have no clue anyhow it is what it is today and I would love to see that come back in in Normandy? Oh man, that'd be crazy. They will all be going to Normandy this year for the 75th anniversary of the Normandy landing on June 6th. That was D-Day, 75 years ago. 50 caliber M1920 machine gun. So it's room for a Colt 45. Very rare raising submachine gun. And a Thompson M1 on the driver's seat. Browning 30 caliber. Another M1920, 50 caliber. A genuine leather scabbard holster with M1 Garrett rifle. That's a beauty. U.S. Marine Corps M37, three-quarter ton, used mostly in the Korean War. A little out of place, but a real cool vehicle. A 1963 Volvo 4x4 L3314N, United Nations personnel carrier, but originally built for the Norwegian Army. Date of delivery, 186. Humvee, cargo and personnel carrier. In the early 1980s, they replaced the Jeep. 
They became well known in the invasion of Panama in 89 and in the Persian Gulf War in the 90s, but soon to be replaced by the JLTV. A special thank you to the Military Vehicle Preservation Association for making this display possible. You can visit their website at mvpa.org.